Wow, that's some wild stuff going on in the entertainment industry. There's footage. I have a tape of the party that uh, Diddy gave after Shine was convicted. This was the first I had heard about this video. There's a lot of speculation going on, especially about Diddy's relationship with Justin Bieber when Bieber was just 15. It's a way of passage to certain people in the entertainment business. With all these people coming out against Diddy, do you think more people are gonna come out? It's a lot of people that, you know, see you gotta realize is that everybody think, oh, everybody's coming out now. It's a lot of people that wanted to bring stuff out long time ago, but the lawyers wouldn't take it. The lawyers wouldn't deal with it. There's footage. I have a tape of the party that uh, Diddy gave after Shine was convicted. Cause you gotta realize he was normal back then. He was he was okay. he, he was the normal Diddy back then. Now he brother love. That dialogue exchange is pretty eyebrow raising. It's understandable why people are concerned about possible grooming. And bringing up Usher like that adds another layer of complexity to the whole thing. What else did Sean Diddy Combs corrupt? Okay, so what trafficking is when you take underage. Cause if I if I got a girl, come on, Cam. If I if I talk to a girl in Miami and I want to fly her to New York, you know what I'm saying? And she come to my house and we as consenting adults have that's not sex trafficking. Sex trafficking is when you are buying or purchasing or selling sex. You know what I'm saying? And you go from state to state doing it or you have underage coming to state to state to have sex and do sex and lewd acts. That's more like sex. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out and what comes to light. And no one in their wild imaginations would have thought that Diddy would be exposed, Diddy. The man admits now of pimping Justin Bieber for money. Why was P. Diddy doing this to Justin Bieber? Many people were saying it almost looked like he was checking to see if Justin is wired up. Then this is where P. Diddy goes to say something to him secretly and many people are saying Justin wanted to leave as he walked fast into his car after that conversation. And let me know your thoughts on this. Um, yeah, I think maybe like, uh, maybe the lean when he was drinking that. Can I say that? There was a time where I was sipping lean. I was popping pills. I was doing Molly, um, you know, shrooms, everything. And it was just an escape for me. I was just young, you know, like everybody in the industry and people in the world who experiment and do, you know, just normal growing up things. But my experience was in front of cameras and I had a different level of exposure and people and like, I had a lot of money and a lot of things. So then you have all these people around me just kind of hanging on, wanting stuff from me, knowing that like, I was living this lifestyle that they also wanted to live. So. There's this old clip making the rounds again, in which Diddy grills a visibly jittery Justin Bieber, who looks like he's barely out of high school, about why he's been keeping his distance. And now, in a bizarre twist of fate, Homeland Security raided Diddy's homes in LA and Miami. Are all of the theories and accusations about what's going on with Justin Bieber really about his marriage, or is this much darker? The whole reason Justin became famous has to do with Usher taking him under his wing. And Usher was raised by Diddy, and that's how he entered Diddy's world. Where we hanging out and what we doing, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Um, I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, He's with me, so um, and, 
and, and, and we're gonna go full, buck full crazy. Go crazy. Crazy. That's why I'll be going to the puffy parties. You can see this is likely where Justin started having some major issues surrounding addiction and mental health. I don't know if I'd be alive for sure. It was dark, really dark. Do you think what's up with Justin has to do with all this? But Justin does not have it anymore. He is about to destroy Diddy by exposing his humiliating gay freak off. And what else? There's a news that Diddy drugged people at his parties? Well, something's wrong because the lawsuit named a lot of celebs. <laughs> Now let's rewind a little bit and talk about how the two even know. Since Monday, March 25th, a clip featuring Diddy and Bieber in a recording studio has been making rounds on social media. It's unclear what the footage was intended for, but it dates back to around 2010 when the budding pop sensation worked on his debut album, My World 2.0. Right now he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, like, like... The you know, where we hanging out and what we doing, um, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15 year old's dream. Um, you know, I, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. I, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album, I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, He's with me, so, um, and yeah, and, um, and, and, yeah, and, and we gonna go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy. What's up, man? You good? Diddy asks Bieber, who shuffles around as the older musician looks at him from behind tinted sunglasses. Selling out arenas and everything? Starting to act different, huh? You haven't been calling me and hanging out like we used to. What's up, man? You good? I'm good. How are you? Right, young brother, everything's good. Justin was just a little boy, not knowing what he was getting into, but did he? He knew everything. Hey, my man's here. He came by. Shout out to Ethel Vodka. That's kind of watered down, but I love it. <laughs> Yo, check this shit out. So, yesterday, Fish Montana had an in store up in the Bronx. Ten people showed up. He said, fuck this, let me have a drink. Puffy trying to make me go against 50, he set me up. <laughs> That's how I feel about your bullshit. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Yo, I just seen a clip of French Montana throwing bottles of effing in the garbage. You know Puffy called him like, you said you fucking like this shit. You fucking bitch, you want your record out, don't you? You fucking dummy. You fucking playing. They fucking putting us out of business, you fucking asshole. You better do something. P. Diddy's alleged dark freak-off parties have hit the headlines after the star's properties were raided, reportedly in connection to sex trafficking allegations. And the fact that Justin was sold to Diddy by Usher...
always kidding around as, as he is right now. And uh, that was the beginning of history. Is that right? What? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I didn't hear anything he said, but all I know is I'm better than him. Oh, wow. The relationship has been good, man. It's been good for you? Yeah, good. Has it been all that I, I promised? Oh. And then some, right? How about today, man? But where's Diddy come in? Now, realistically, he should have had nothing to do with Justin. But that's not the puff that everybody's come to know. When 50 Cent has had a long-standing feud with Diddy and expressed his desire to acquire the alleged compromising footage from Diddy's reputed wild parties. Justin Bieber parties shirtless with Diddy and his new lady, Chantel Jeffries, all at an ATL nightclub. Now, according to Instagram, Vanquish Club was lit last night. And yes, I might have had to look that up on UrbanDictionary.com. I needed to be sure. Anyway, Diddy threw a big party at Vanquish on Wednesday night to launch a new tequila. And the man brought a lot of old friends to celebrate with him. Rick Ross, Jermaine Dupri, T.I., Justin Bieber, and a ton of bodyguards. Biebs couldn't keep his shirt on for very long, so he shed his tea and danced next to Diddy while seemingly just drinking water all night long. And he is 19, so that makes sense. But it sure didn't stop the rap mogul and the pop star from having a very good time. Earlier this week, both Biebs and Diddy posted this pic on their Instagram, where Diddy noted that it was 4 a.m. and their crew was still hard at work. So there you go, Bieber rocking it out with Chantel and Diddy in Atlanta. What do you guys think of the pics? And let me know by commenting below or shoot me a tweet. Also, Biebs ain't the only one that knows how to party. His lady Gaga got really candid about good times with cheap gin and Russian hookers in her Harper's Bazaar interview. So click right here for that video. It's really fun. I'm Miriam Issa. Thanks for watching Clever News and make sure you subscribe to our channel for your daily dose of Hollywood. In an Instagram post, the How We Do star shared a snapshot of allegations from court documents filed against his rival, Rodney Lil Rod Jones. Fiddy captioned the upload, SMH, this will be interesting, care to wager? I'm determined to get my hands on these tapes. I'll spare no expense. Have you ever attended one of those parties? I steer clear of the puffy shindigs. The nigga Puff was like, yeah, like first he was amping him to, to right. get... Stop. Then he was like, yo, he's like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like, we can just hang out, nigga, we gotta, we gotta Hold kick that. it. This is Puff. Okay. He's telling me we gotta kick it and shit, and he was like, right. yo, why don't we, like, go shopping or some shit? I mean, like, I pay for it. And I was like, what the fuck this nigga just said? <laughs> <laughs> I got the fuck away from him because I was like, this, this nigga, like, fuck it. This nigga just tell me he take me shopping. <laughs> and this is, shit, this is shit that goes off. But this is a little fruit pop. This is a fruit pop. It's a fruit pop, trust me. You see these little weird ass pictures and shit like that out there? I'm just sitting out there for no reason. If you don't see accident pictures with me like kissing it. Like that doesn't happen by accident. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> Later you gonna find out a little shit that oh, I be saying. Man. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Chill, man, listen, man. I'm trying to tell you the truth. But Yo. the truth sometimes it hurts. Right. It hurts people and they don't wanna hear that shit, but right. I'm trying to tell you. Nah. Nigga asked me, could he take me shopping? And it fucked me up because I'm looking like, what the fuck did this nigga just say? I wanna take you shopping. I got a bankroll out this motherfucker. I wanna take you shopping. Why? Because when you walk around looking so motherfucker, Fucking good. I'm gonna feel like, God damn it, that motherfucker with me. What's going on, my brother? How you doing? Oh, man, man. man. Yo, it's Groove here? Happy birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, yeah, birthday, birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday to Fabulous. <laughs> the only nigga that got the name that I want. get. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Thank you, my brother. Um, yeah. Let's take a shot for that part. <laughs> oh, my mouth a little dry. Let me drink some more. Okay, skin. But um, no, it's your show today, Jack. Yeah. The, the, the one thing I've been no, no, no you got questions. Groove, okay. Groove, look, bro. Come here, bro, bro. Yeah, Fab, Fab, told me the floor, you fit. Hey yo, Rastafari, Rastafari. Hey yo, Fab walked in. Don't do that. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said. Let me pick it up. I want to see you pick it up from right there. 
This why I got to pick it up from right there. Look at this nigga. This is a rap thing, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 bro. Get killing. No, no, no. Come tell the story. Bro, bro, we bro, we intoxicated. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, oh, bro, oh, bro, you helped me build that yeah, beautiful, bro, nice bro, guy, Rastafari you, you brand you of yours, me, huh? Yeah. I, come I see in, you, man. I'm walking in at that hallway, hallway right there. Bag at? Mr. Lee, what, yeah, what? I love this drink. Where you put my bag you? I like at? when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my bag Daddy, at? I like when you when oh, you scrambling right and scraping for shit. I like that. I'll be practicing. I got Yeah, there you go. Got your notes. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna go over with that one. Make a wish. Just blow it out. Your birthday every day. Every day is a birthday on Drink Champs. Goddamn it. I'm in. Okay. Uh, we ain't fuck with that. No, I got notes now. That. I'm trying to get my life together. I'm trying to get my life. I want to taste the vegan cake. Yo, cake. Fendi, what's going on? Come on, come on. No, 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 this is me and you. Oh, well, I need a shot. Yeah, I got you. Okay. 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 Shot, bro. This one? Okay. Yeah, I just had I'm to shake. It's I'm all in. together, me I'm and in. you. I'm eyes, in. You eyes. 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 Let's do eyes. it. Spilling it all over. Eyes. That's that French vanilla? Yeah. I was not yeah. Jay Chance. I, I was not Jay Chance. Make some guy out of me being here. Yeah, yeah. Some noise yeah. Yeah. Hey, yo, so Ray J came with me. Discovered. Yeah, yeah, I, hey, I, I was I'm in, in the, doing something presently at the moment. Okay. And I need um I need to break out. Okay. That's and I don't want to be rude, you know. No, I just want to stop rude. by mm. and give love. Yeah. No. Yeah. Niggas need to stop cooning right now. It's an emergency situation. Niggas need to stop cooning, including myself. You know what I'm saying? Nothing off me. We all need the motherfucking get focused and get this money. Documentary that claimed, which we know wasn't true. Yeah, yeah. Check this out. We don't we don't talk about things that are nonsense. We don't even entertain nonsense, my brother. So we not even going even go there. With all due respect, but I appreciate you as a journalist asking. Thank you. Cause you listen, seven years ago I'd have been like, yo, did you hire somebody to kill Pac? But no, you do it like a journalist. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I, we wouldn't even get into nonsense like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's nonsense. Which we never believed, by the way. Yeah, thanks. So what is alleged to have gone on at these parties? According to Lil Rod's lawsuit, Diddy, also known as Sean Combs, installed hidden cameras throughout his properties in Los Angeles and Star Island. The filing states, while living and traveling with Mr. Combs, Mr. Jones discovered that Mr. Combs had hidden cameras in every room of his home. The lawsuit further alleges that Combs frequently hosted sex trafficking parties at these locations, where illegal drugs were reportedly used. The bad boy. Oh, he's bad boy now. <laughs> oh, wow. He's signing the bad boy. <laughs> Here's your eye count alert. <laughs> it's called, he's bad boy now. It's called, don't ever play yourself.
I'ma break it again. Feds peep in the spot. Hey, Feds outside. Like them Yeezys go dry. Yeah, she think. It's been separately reported that a person believed to be the singer's alleged mule was arrested on drug charges at Miami Airport. At the same time, police raided the rapper's mansions in L.A. and Miami. According to legal documents obtained by TMZ, 25-year-old Brendan Paul was arrested on Monday and faced two charges one for possession of suspected cocaine, and another for alleged marijuana possession. I used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, just out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother. But you were 13, what were you I saying? I went there to see the lifestyle. I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. There were very curious things taking place, uh -huh. and I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh -huh. Starting to act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you I mean, I was sick of having to cover up everything that you did. And I'm like, well, she doesn't have to have you. She doesn't want to. He was upset. I realized, like, oh, this guy is dangerous. In the newest civil suit, Rodney Lil Rod Jones, the producer on Diddy's most recent album, accused the rapper of SA and threatening him for more than a year, and he's seeking $30 million in damages. Doing this situation is not easy. Taking Puff to court, suing him is not easy. Jones also alleged that Diddy was involved in transporting drugs and sex workers, some of whom were minors, and asked for criminal investigation into this RICO enterprise. RICO stands for the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, created in 1970 to deal with those engaged in organized crime. Diddy's lawyers say the allegations are pure fiction, though. Just a few months ago, R&B singer Cassie Ventura filed a lawsuit against Diddy, accusing him of and a decade of physical and emotional abuse. She settled with Diddy outside of court. But even more SA allegations have come out against him since, and some say it's Cassie's bravery that empowered other survivors to speak up. Diddy has denied all allegations. Many, including Jones, say that Diddy, who has a net worth of $1 billion, has leveraged his wealth and influence to skirt accountability, despite so many speaking out against him. What do you think? Could this be the end for Diddy? In the paperwork, Officers claimed they discovered suspected contraband in Paul's travel bags, and after testing the alleged narcotics, they were confirmed to be illegal substances, resulting in Paul's arrest. He was initially held in custody, but was later released on bail. As of now, there's no evidence connecting the drugs reportedly found in Paul's possession to Diddy. Paul is scheduled to appear in court on April 24th. It's on the sex trafficking investigation that led to raids on the homes of Sean Combs here in Los Angeles and in Florida. He has not been arrested or charged, though he is named in multiple assault and trafficking lawsuits. Eyewitness News reporter Sophie Flay joins us here live with more. Sophie. Giovanna, in a 79-page lawsuit filed by a music producer who claims to have worked with and lived with Sean Combs for a period of time, alleges there were underage girls, hidden cameras, and sexual harassment at his home, all of which Combs denies. What were federal investigators in tactical gear looking for at Sean Diddy Combs' home in Los Angeles and Miami? Homeland Security says the raids were part of a months-long federal investigation, including sex trafficking. If he's convicted, ultimately, uh, he'll be in prison for a very long time. Um, you know, one count of sex trafficking typically is 10 to 15 years in prison. Cassandra Ventura, also known as Cassie, filed a lawsuit in November, alleging Combs raped her and forced her to engage in sex trafficking. The two parties settled the suit the day after she filed. The problem for Diddy is those allegations become public immediately um, and they remain public. They're public record. So now that they're public record uh, and Cassie was brave enough to put her name to those allegations and not just file as a Jane Doe, well, that certainly empowers 
other potential victims of Diddy's conduct. Multiple lawsuits have been filed against Combs, including one by music producer Rodney Jones. Jones alleges sex trafficking and sexual assault, also mentioning underage girls in the 79-page lawsuit. Claims made by Jones include hidden cameras in the rap mogul's home, saying, quote, Mr. Combs allegedly threatened to eat Mr. Jones's face in order to get what he wants. According to law enforcement, federal agents with Homeland Security seized computers and other electronic devices at Combs's home in Homeby Hills and Miami. The federal authorities will look into the evidence that they've collected, uh, and then they'll go in front of a grand jury and, and try to get an arrest warrant for, for Diddy um, if there's enough there. 25-year-old Brendan Paul, who was arrested on drug charges Monday, also mentioned in the lawsuit, claiming Paul carried drugs and guns for the three-time Grammy winner. He's since posted bail. Combs's attorney released a statement Tuesday in response to the raid, saying in part, there was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs's residences. This is nothing more than a witch hunt. Mr. Combs is innocent and will fight to clear his name. And it's still unclear where Combs was at the time of those raids and where he is now. His attorney saying that he's spoken to and cooperated with authorities. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV. In his 24 million pounds lawsuit against Diddy, record producer Jones asserted that the rapper's connections to high profile celebrities gave him and his associates legitimacy. According to Jones's lawyers, Diddy's association with such prominent figures attracted guests to his alleged sex trafficking parties. Last month, court documents filed in New York detailed Diddy's purported access to celebrities such as famous athletes, political figures, artists, musicians, and international dignitaries. Jones further alleged that Diddy frequently partied with sex workers and underage girls. He claimed that Diddy would enforce non-disclosure agreements upon attendees of his parties. Additionally, Jones accused the musician of coercing and threatening minors into participating in commercial sex acts. He also claimed he was compelled to procure prostitutes for Combs in Miami, despite sex work being illegal in that jurisdiction. Our new reporting on those federal raids in the homes of Sean Diddy Combs and what was found inside. As we get late word, the music mogul's attorney is firing back. Steve Patterson is with us. Steve, what are we learning? Lester, those sweeping federal raids, all part of what a source familiar tells NBC News is a homeland security investigation centered on alleged sex trafficking. Multiple law enforcement sources say tonight guns were seized at both properties during the raid. And as it was unfolding, law enforcement sources say a known Diddy associate, 25-year-old Brendan Paul, was being arrested in a civil lawsuit that alleges Combs operated a criminal enterprise. An attorney accuses Paul of being a mule for Combs' drugs and guns. NBC has been unable to reach Paul, but, Combs, but late today, Combs' attorney called the raids an unprecedented ambush and said Mr. Combs cooperated with authorities and that his client is innocent and will clear his name. Lester? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media. In separate proceedings in December last year, Cassie Ventura claimed she was subjected to torrents of abuse from her former long-term partner. The singer alleged she had been coerced by Combs to engage in a fantasy of his called voyeurism. She claimed she was directed to have sex with several male prostitutes while Diddy watched, masturbated, took pictures, and shot videos. He called them freak-offs. Ventura's close friend Tiffany Red echoed her friend's claims in a letter published in Rolling Stone. She claimed she saw Diddy force Cassie to leave her birthday party in August 2015 to have sex with a male prostitute. Arresting for, uh, federal agents who were at both residences yesterday in Miami and here in Los Angeles, blasting what they're calling a show of force by armed tactical agents. The attorney describing this as a witch hunt, uh, saying that this was a gross overuse of military level force. Still, he says that Combs is cooperating with investigators. I'll read you part of the statement. He goes on to say, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been arrested, nor has their ability to travel been restricted in any way. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. Of course, Wolf, the law enforcement action that that attorney is criticizing involved dozens of federal agents showing up yesterday at these residences. This team of federal agents, Wolf, responsible for investigating very serious federal crimes. 
Sean Diddy Combs, Music Mogul. I'm the definition of. Now the target of a federal investigation carried out by a team that specializes in human trafficking crimes. Two homes belonging. In a scathing letter, Red recounted how the bad boy founder referred to the situation as a freak off. Red expressed deep concern for Cassie's safety and recounted feeling traumatized by the events, stating, your abuse of power has inflicted ongoing harm on countless individuals, including myself, my friends, and my peers. It has to stop. Following Ventura's case's settlement outside of court, Diddy's lawyer, Ben Braffman, clarified in a statement to The Mirror, Just so we're clear, a decision to settle a lawsuit, especially in 2023, is in no way an admission of wrongdoing. Regarding Jones's claims and the recent raids, Diddy's lawyer, Aaron Dyer, stated to The Mirror, Yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs's residences. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or how his children and employees were treated. This is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Combs responsible for his depraved conduct. Another lawsuit filed in February by a former employee, producer Rodney Jones, who goes by the stage name Lil Rod, accusing Combs of, among other things, sexual assault. The musician was not at either home at the time. His whereabouts still unknown. This is a huge stain on his reputation, to say the least. And this really feels like a fall from grace for one of the biggest stars and moguls in the music world. Now, of course, Wolf, the big question, what, if anything, did investigators find at either residence in Miami and here in Los Angeles? And how might that information factor into this ongoing criminal investigation? As of right now, Wolf, investigators aren't saying. All right, Josh Campbell reporting for us. Thanks for all that. Uh, let's bring an attorney and legal affairs commentator, Ariva Martin, right now. Uh, Ariva, what's your read on this defiant statement from Diddy's lawyer? Well, it's something that I expected. And Wolf, when you look at the statement that Diddy himself made in December, he has been pretty uh, consistent in his statements that these allegations against him are not true and that these individuals uh, that have filed lawsuits are doing so only to try to extort money from him. That was one of the statements that uh, was made after Jones, the producer, filed his lawsuit in February. So I think it's consistent with what we're hearing from Combs' legal team. Where does this investigation, Ariva, go from here? Could Diddy actually be criminally charged anytime soon in this federal sex trafficking probe? Well, one thing we do know, Wolf, is that in order for uh, this law enforcement agency to raid both of his homes in the way that they did, they had to get a warrant. And to get that warrant, they had to present a probable cause statement before a magistrate judge. So they had to produce some evidence that they were going to find uh, you know, evidence of criminal activity in his homes. Otherwise, they would not have been able to get those uh, search warrants. So we do know, despite not hearing directly from these law enforcement agents, that clearly there is a criminal investigation underway and that they believe that there would be evidence of crimes in one or both of these homes. And if you read that Rodney Jones uh, lawsuit, it is replete with very, very serious and salacious allegations uh, including allegations that uh, Combs had cameras throughout his homes where he videotaped uh, himself and others having sexual activity uh, with sex workers and in some cases even underage girls. So uh, there are some very serious allegations that have been made against Sean Combs. Out of these previous lawsuits, Ariva, against Diddy, alleging sexual misconduct possibly inform this new investigation? Well, you know, one thing, Wolf, that was always curious was as these civil lawsuits were being filed, the question was always looming as to whether these same individuals making uh, claims in civil lawsuits were also talking to law enforcement agents. If you're claiming in a civil lawsuit that you've been raped, that you've been uh, drugged, that you've experienced sexual assault, uh, one would imagine that you've also made those same complaints to uh, some local district attorney, FBI, or some kind of law enforcement agency. So, I'm not surprised, and I don't think many people are surprised, that there is some criminal investigation that is running uh, parallel to these civil lawsuits, particularly when you look at the nature of the allegations. And again, they're allegations. Nothing's been proven in court, but they are very serious allegations. Yes, they are. Do you expect, there, Riva, we may actually hear from Diddy himself anytime soon? 
I do not think so. He gave that statement on social media in December, but now that his homes have been raided by federal agents, I don't think we're going to hear anything from him. Uh, we will continue perhaps to hear through his attorneys uh, his continued denial of the allegations that have been made against him. But I have to imagine that his lawyers are telling him that anything he says at this moment could be used against him if uh, these criminal charges uh, ultimately result in some kind of prosecution and trial. So I do not expect that we will hear anything from him either in person or on social media. Arriva Martin, thanks for that. Dyer further emphasized this unprecedented ambush, paired with an advanced, coordinated media presence, leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There has been no criminal or civil liability finding with these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight daily to clear his name.